Traveling and sightseeing should be exciting, not fraught with worries. Make your plans carefully and be cautious while you're on vacation. You can enjoy a safe trip keeping in mind these 10 safety tips. Tip number one is to have travel insurance. This is essential for older travelers who are more at risk for falling and hurting themselves. So we know a lady who had went to um, Ireland and while she was there, she stepped off of a curb on a street, fell down and broke her hip. And she had to be in the hospital there in Ireland for at least a week, maybe even two weeks. And we're not sure if she had traveler's insurance. At the time this happened several years back, um, we were not travel agents. So we didn't ask her if she did or anything. But for situations like that, traveler's insurance is key to helping with medical costs and that sort of thing because you just never know when that is going to happen on your travels, especially as midlifers and senior citizens. It comes in handy if you get sick, if you need extra medication when you're traveling and that sort of thing. Travel insurance is pretty affordable, and it is typically based on the cost of your trip, the overall, you know, total cost of your trip. You basically receive three quotes, a basic, a middle, and an upper. The basic tier is pretty good with its coverage, um, but, you know, as you go to the middle and the upper, more and more coverage is added. And so it's all up to you which one you would want to take. They range anywhere from 100 to $200. But again, it is based on the overall cost of your quote. So consider travel insurance the next time you travel. Tip number two is don't advertise your, your absence. So for example, when you're in your hotel, don't set out that, you know, clean my room sign on the outside of your door. This, of course, alerts anyone walking by your door. Oh, these people aren't in their room. Therefore, we can try to pick the lock. And believe you me, thieves are very good at Jimmy locks. And, you know, just to have our way with their things in there. Take whatever we want. So, yeah, they look for signs that... Um, let them know no one is in that room. So stop by the front desk, you know, or even call before you leave your room and let them know you are leaving and someone can come clean your room and that sort of thing. Don't, don't hang that sign on your front door. And then along these same lines, try to book a room that's close to the elevator where there's extra foot traffic, you know, going by your room and everything. So yeah, um, tip number two is to don't advertise your absence. Tip number three, don't advertise your wealth. <laughs> While we're speaking of advertisements, keep all of your fancies tucked away nice and safe at your house. <laughs> Things such as your sparkly jewelry, your gold watches, your very fancy camera. Um, those things just practically scream, take me now, <laughs> steal me, <laughs> to thieves, of course. So it's not worth it, not worth it at all. As grand travelers, we tend to be a little less steady on our feet. And we're not always super aware of our surroundings. So we are also more apt to carry cash. All of those things make us very vulnerable to would-be thieves. So yeah, just leave all those fancies at home. Tip number four is to beware of travel fraud and scams. Make sure that you are dealing with legitimate companies when you book your travel. Scammers operate primarily through the internet, email, and phone. 
if you feel uneasy or you're just unsure if you're dealing with someone who is legitimate, you know, ask another family member to possibly help you or research that company out with the Better Business Bureau. So yeah, please be aware of travel scams that are out there. Tip number five is to protect your cash. Bring two credit cards in case one of them gets stolen and keep your eye on your credit card while the transaction is being made. Regularly check your card activity when you are on vacation and look and make sure all of your purchases line up with everything that you have done thus far. If you're traveling where there's limited ATMs or even perhaps where your type of credit card might not be accepted at a restaurant, at a, at a museum, at a store or that sort of thing. Just have some extra traveler's checks on hand for situations like that. Tip number six is to learn about your destination before you go. Um, some could pose a threat to tourists. So what you want to do is head to travel.state.gov slash destinations for current advisories or warnings. And each, each place is given a designation, a level of one through four, with level one being the best and level four being like, don't go. If your destination falls in level three, which is reconsider travel, or level four, do not travel, just wipe that destination off your list <laughs> for now. Don't worry about going. It truly is that old adage that says it is better to be safe than sorry is so true. That destination's not worth it. You know, maybe one day it will be dropped down to level two or level one. But if there's a level three or level four, truly, truly just skip that destination <laughs> and don't go for your safety. You can't be replaced but that travel destination will always be there in the event that it is safe to go to. Tip number seven is to try not to travel alone. And be mindful of your surroundings as much as you possibly can remember. Keep an eye out for possible threats. Don't go into a dark alley, of course. And if you feel uncomfortable in a situation, in a place, then totally leave. It's okay. You will not be making a scene or anything like that. Your your instincts are kicking in for a reason, so please do follow them. The best type of travel to ensure that you do not travel alone are guided tours, and those are some of the best vacations you can take. Tip number eight is to enroll in a program called STEP, and that stands for Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. It is a free service available for all U.S. citizens to enroll their trip with the nearest U.S. Embassy at the destination you're going to. It enables you to stay in contact with family and friends back home in the event of an emergency, whether it's a natural disaster, civil unrest, or a family emergency. You can also receive information about safety conditions in that destination from the embassy. So enroll in that STEP program. It really is beneficial to our safety. Tip number nine is to consider carrying a dummy wallet. <laughs> which holds a very small amount of cash. So if you were to be confronted by thieves, you could just hand over that dummy wallet and then walk away, <laughs> avoiding any further conflict or stress on your vacation. Our last tip for this video is don't let anyone touch you. And that is super easy right now considering the pandemic. Nobody should be touching you right now, period. <laughs> so when you're traveling, don't let them touch you. Don't let them try to give you something or sell you something or anything like that. There is no reason anything like that should be going on right now. So be very aware of someone who's trying to do those things. So there you have 
10 tips to help you travel safely as midlifers and senior citizens or grand travelers, as I like to call us. <laughs> and what I would like to know is if you have any safety tips that have helped you in your travels as a grand traveler. If so, please leave them below in the comments and um, share them with us. I would love to read them. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that in some way it will help you in future travels remain safe. And if you can and don't mind, please give this video a thumbs up and consider becoming a subscriber to our channel here at Gate 24 Travel. We really would appreciate it so much. So until the next video, take care and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.